Hey, so in this video, I want to talk a bit about canning sausages. It's a question I often get. First of all, you can can most of my sausage recipes except cured sausages and smoked sausages because this just will simply not work. In this recipe now, I will share the details and also a simple recipe. And I will also add various recipes in the article below. And yeah, as I said, let's start with the simple one here and we will go through everything. First of all, on the meat side, you could either grind your own meat or you could also um, get fresh ground meat from a butcher of your choice. This will also work fine. Just make sure it's 20 to 25% fat. Otherwise the sausage will get dry. And then for the spices, you can go whatever you want. You can go a bit more spicy with chili and paprika, or you could have one with herbs or like a traditional bratwurst one, completely up to you. And then for the jars, I use these because uh, with the clips, it's easy that the air in the jar can escape and there's no water coming in. However, you can use different jars or cans depending on what you have in your local country. So I would say let's start with the process. As I said, super simple. First step, as always, you have your ground up meat and then you weigh your spices and the salt and the cure if you add one. The weighing is necessary because otherwise it will taste either too bland or too salty. So yeah, just make sure you use the right amount. Add it to the meat and then mix everything together until it gets a nice binding. Same process like you would do if you fill it into casings. But as I said, you could also do a Leberkäse and a can it in jars. You could do Liverwurst, also works fine. Then some beer schinken totally works. And then also some uh, onion sausage, which is a bit more spreadable. Or Jagdwurst, completely up to you. I just want to show you the process. And then for filling, you could either use your sausage stuffer and fill it in there. The beauty of this is that there will be no air gaps and we want to exclude them as much as possible. However, if you just do little amounts, it's yeah another thing you need to clean. So therefore you could also use a spoon and make sure there are no air holes in it. Fill it tightly and then also have some space on top because the sausage mixture will expand and otherwise water will come in. Close the lids. Then also add the clippings and yeah, that's it. That's ready to be canned. Then for the cooking, there are different methods. First of all, you have this special cooking machine where you can set the temperature and also the duration. The important part here is that the jars are topped with water, so they should be underwater completely. If you have, again, smaller batches, another thing you could do is use a regular pot and just add the jars in there. Just a quick tip because it will make some annoying noises to get rid of them. You can add a kitchen towel to the bottom, then fill the water in and this will make that the jars don't hop away and everything will be smooth and silent. Again, underwater and then 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. However, these two methods only work if you use some cure in the process. If you don't want to add some cure, then the third option would be to pressure can the sausage mixture. Heat for this should be above 120 degrees Celsius, 248 degrees Fahrenheit. No matter what method you use afterwards, you let it cool down. And here you can see the final result. And as you can see here, there's some fat and also liquid um, aspic-like mixture, which has separated from the meat. If you want to avoid this in this recipe, just add some phosphates. As I said before, a lot of my recipes already have them in. This way you will have less solidified um, mass at the outside and more within the sausage. Yeah. If you cut it into big cubes or into fine slices and put it on a bread, completely up to you. Taste-wise, it is pretty similar to uh, the traditional sausage which you would make uh, in a casing. So yeah, I can totally recommend it. Awesome way to increase the shelf life 
As I said before, everything is down in the article with additional recipes. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.